you may be wondering why I would bother overhauling a Chinese mini lathe. Well, in some ways I'm kind of attached to it. For a lot of years I lived in an inner city apartment and this on the balcony was my only machine tool. So, yeah, I'm kind of attached to it. And the second reason is that although I've got the, the nice bolly lathe, I never, when I received it, it didn't have any change wheels. So I've only got the fine feed mechanism and can't thread. Now, it kind of makes sense to put the mini lathe back together for those times when I do need to cut a thread. It's always been heavily modified. Uh, from the first day I got it, I started modifying it. Um, and looking around the internet, you know, there's a lot of guys done a lot of cool mods on these machines. Um, but I figured realistically, by the time I'm finished putting this back together, I'm pretty sure this is about as heavily modified as any 7X lathe I've ever seen on any of the forums or, or anywhere. So, you know, why not make a bit of a YouTube series out of my bringing the thing back into service? And uh, that's where we're starting today. So I already paint stripped it and just put a thin layer of uh, undercoat on it. Figured I'd basically start at the bottom, so first thing I did was scrape in the feet, uh, try and get a level surface, and yeah, serves as a basis for everything else. So let's run down that rabbit hole of, uh, of scraping, shall we? So, first thing we're going to need is a standard. About a year ago I picked up this uh, triangular straight edge from uh, a place, just basically an industrial surplus place in uh, Slovakia. Uh, it didn't cost me too much, I paid sort of scrap metal price rates for it and that needs to be scraped in to give me a, to give me a standard to scrape the bed in. So my reference to start with is this uh, what is this, uh, 18 inch by 12 inch, so 450 by 300 millimeter granite um, uh, surface plate made in China. I've never, te never tested it, never measured it, don't know how flat it really is, but that's my reference. It, the uh, Nothing I do is going to be flatter than this, um, so I'm just going to use it as it is. Now I know there are real bluing compounds available, but here I'm just using the kind of the original uh, Prussian blue oil paint. Seems to work for me based on my limited experience. At the start of course putting on pretty heavy, a pretty heavy layer of, of uh, blue. Later when scraping for spots this will be reduced, put on some uh, less, make thinner coats. But at the start, nice thick coat, gives you a, a, a nice visual idea of where you need to go and how far whereabouts you're at with the scraping. At least that's what I've read. I do have a copy of Connolly. I've only read portions of it so far. It's not exactly light reading. Hinging it, it does seem to be pivoting at about the two-thirds spots where it should be. Of course this is way too heavy, the uh, ink. But it's coming along. So here we go with the trusty Coborn power scraper. Now I'm just a raw beginner at scraping, so uh, if anyone sees something in these videos where you can give me some advice of how to do this better, faster, more accurately, better technique. I'd really appreciate any uh, any inputs you can give me, thanks. As you can see I've already done a fair bit of scraping. Uh, most of the rough scraping's done. It wasn't terribly bad when I got it, but I did need to uh, to go over the whole thing. Uh, I just need to go a bit further down to get, to get, a, get the rough scraping done and then I can start uh, scraping for points. <laughs> So I think I'm getting decent coverage now, so it's time to start scraping more towards points, so finish scraping. 
So for that I'm going to just switch over to a cutter blade with a tighter radius and I'll just touch this up. Okay, so this is the first time I've scraped in a straight edge. As you can see, I'm maybe a little bit heavy on the ends and around through here, and a bit light through this area, but it's the first time I've done it. I'm gonna call it good for now and move on to the actual scraping job. Um, you know, it's a mini, mini, it's a, it's a mini lathe. The, the level of accuracy I'm playing with here, it's never gonna reach in, in service, but yeah, let's just get started with the... finished now. Nope. More to go. This side's looking okay. Uh, just th these edges and now this looks kind of uh, hollow across the middle and on the front way there. Well, it's starting to come in now. Um, part way through it, I switched over to hand scraping because that um, way there is just a little bit too too uh, too tight, at least for um, for rough scraping with the, with the power scraper. Um, yeah, and it's really not such a big area; it doesn't take that long to hand scrape it either. So. scraper. It doesn't take much and they start feeling a little blunt. Luckily got four edges so just turn it around and continue before I hone all of them. Here's another pass. Since we're only polishing a turd here, I'm going to call that good enough. So looking at the front V-way, I've um, touched it off. Got about one centimetre of contact here, 
and maybe five or six centimeters of contact around that ball. So it's got a bit of a dish in it. So we're starting to step scrape to come in from both ends because you can see there's only a little bit of contact at each end there. So I'll step scrape in, um, do three steps and then uh, touch off again. So I've finished the step scraping now. Um, getting reasonable contact through the middle, a bit on the end. Still got a bit, bit to go to get more, more even contact, but this way is coming along well. Um, it's probably less than 40 minutes to get to the stage, so it's not a huge amount of work to, to scrape such a small thing as this, uh, as this one V-Way. So getting close now, I've got contact pretty much across the entire length. Now I just need to maybe reduce a little bit in the middle here and try and increase the uh, the number of points a wee bit. So with the bed nearly finished, I think that's enough for the first episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.